if you're looking for a quick fix, <laughs> number one, you can't get it from one podcast episode and you can't get it from me. You get it from a lifestyle change and not a one day lifestyle change because as the name kind of implies, it's a lifestyle change. For me, I changed my lifestyle. I mean, it didn't happen overnight. Like, I'm into health and stuff now, but before I started all these new practices, I also had to quit. Like, I had to quit a lot of practices. I had to quit smoking. I had to quit drinking. I had to quit drugs, street drugs, but I also had to quit prescription medications, prescription drugs. Um, so it's okay. So when this first started, like I said, I first started, I just wanted to lose weight because I was tired of people. They were like, you fat bitch. When I walked down the street in my trailer park and it was also my ex and a lot of other people called me fat. And then those same people that called me the fat bitch, (laughs) those were the same people that were like, Hey baby, you know, but I started with just wanting to lose weight. But then as I went on with my health journey, you know, and I quit smoking at the same time that I was losing weight and, you know, I quit drinking shortly after that. And as I went on, you know, it's like the more that I, that I learn, the more that I realize I still need to learn, you know, and the more that I get healthy, the more I realize how unhealthy some of the things that I'm doing right now are, you know what I mean? Uh, like last year or well, not last year, maybe two, three years ago, I would think, oh, I need to stay up late and yeah. Oh yeah. Let's give that example. So on TikTok, when I first started TikTok, I, and I talked about this in the previous episode, you need to check that out. And it's about, it's called self care for creators. Okay. And it was actually on Saturday, but when I first started TikTok, here's one of the things that I'm telling you because I started back in 2007, maybe 2006, I started with my health journey, losing weight. But then, uh, when the pandemic started in 2020, I'm not going to tell you that you have to do this, this, and this exactly this way. And then you'll get results. I am giving you great general guidelines for your health that will work if you apply them and take action consistently. You have to take action and you have to do it. You can't just do something and take one of my suggestions and then do it for like a day or a week or even a month. You have to try, like I said, small steps for big health victories. Small steps lead to compounded success. When the pandemic started and I started my TikTok, I thought that I should stay up like most of the night until one, two, three in the morning, answering my TikTok comments and my YouTube comments and planning the day and texting people and DMing people. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's not that I thought that I could, (sighs) it's not that I was going against, uh, being healthy. I wasn't going against sleep. Uh, I got, and be honest, I just kind of felt sort of unworthy, I guess. Not that that was a conscious thought, like, oh, I'm not worthy of this, but I was afraid of losing the fans. I was afraid of losing my business. And so that led to bad decisions. Like, like I said, the point I'm just making though, is I don't do that anymore. And the, and the point is that I'm never going to be perfect because I'm always going to be trying to learn and improve. And that's my, probably my best advice that I can give to you is don't think that you can be perfect and, you know, don't think that you're going to start right away and you're going to, everything's going to be great and you're going to get better overnight. Uh, just take small steps, but also don't try to, don't go backwards. You know, don't revert to old behaviors that were not working for you, but also, always know that you can get better. So that's my advice. There's no such thing as perfection because you can always make it better. I want to inform you. I want to teach you facts about food 
and all the things that I've learned from the classes that I've taken, for example, with Sean Stevenson and the book, Eat Smarter. He has the podcast that I always tell you about, and it's called The Model Health Show. We're supposed to model good health. That's what I intend on being is modeling the good health for all of you. But my intention is not to make you do anything, not to make the choices for you, but to basically inform you of the facts about food and nutrition and physical health and mental health, etc. But I also want to give you a little taste of my experience personally. My intention is never to try to make you believe what I believe about any anything. It's never to force you into a box and say, you can't do this, you can't do that. I simply want to inform you in the same way that in the same way that the intention of a kid going to sex ed class, I just want to inform you of the facts about food and nutrition and health and mental health and all those things and give you the information in order that you might make the best decision for yourself because every human is different and every human has a lot in common as well. So thank you for listening and I want to empower you to good health because you're worth it. Your family is worth it. You can do anything you want to do and the world is waiting on you. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Liberty V Justice. There's no period in my V because my victories never end and I'm here to help you get your victories, legends. You're worth it.